contrary to what your girlfriend or your wife keeps telling you, bigger is not always better. And I'm going to prove it with this. In this box is the new Boofwang UV5R Mini. The price for the new Boofwang UV5R Mini is $34 of monies. However, if you purchase the dual pack, the cost is only $22 of monies a piece. And if you purchase the dual pack, you will also get a bigger, better antenna, which I will show you momentarily. And for your purchasing and clicking pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to both the dual pack and the mono pack in the information section of this video below. And the Boofwang Corporation of Tokyo did not send me this radio for free. Nay, I paid full price for the dual pack of these radios using my own monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the viewers that have expressed their love and support for me and my channel by pressing or clicking on the join or thanks buttons below. This is a brand new model of the Bufuang UV5R. It is not the Pro, it is not the Plus, but this is the Mini, the UV5R Mini. And since you probably are not smart enough to figure out why they call it the Mini, I will tell you. They call it the Mini because it is not large. And in honor of this micro radio, possibly the smallest hams radios in the world. I am going to keep this video short and as fast as possible. Not because I care one bit about wasting your time or not, and not because I don't want to see all of the whiny comments complaining and whining about the video being too long. Nay, there are much larger forces at play, something much more dark and pressing. And that ulterior motive of mine is... I really got to take a huge shit. So when you purchase the new Bufwang UV5R Mini in the box, you will receive a user manual, 25 pages long. The first six pages are just useless warnings and precautions for a net total of 18 actual usable pages, all of which are written in very good English. And the manual goes over all of the functions of the radio, just as one would expect. You will receive the obligatory junky earpiece, a belt clip, this very nice, very stylish, and very handsome body lanyard. You attach one end of the body lanyard to the radio. The other end you can affix or wrap around any part of your body that you choose. You will receive this USB A's to USB C's charging wire. You will receive a battery that holds 2200 milliamp hours of electricity. The battery has a USB C's hole for the previously mentioned USB C's charging wire, as well as a LED charging status indicator. You will receive an antenna, small, just like the radio, yet very rigid. And even though it's short, it does have some girth. If you purchase the dual pack of the radios, you will also receive this Nagoya NA7071 dual band antenna. I did not see this listed with the mono pack of the radio. As you can see with your very own eyeballs, this antenna is much larger and probably much better than the smaller antenna. However, it is flaccid and it does lack the girth. Of the smaller one. And you will receive the Bufwang UV5R Mini. On the top you'll find an on-off and volume control knob, an LED send and receive status indicator, a standard SMA male antenna hole, and an annoyingly bright flashlight. On the side you'll find two push-to-talk triggers. The top trigger always transmits on the top channel, of which I will show you momentarily. The second trigger transmits on whatever frequency or channel is on the lower line of the screen. And pretty much like all radios these days, this radio can listen to both of the channels or frequencies that show on the screen at the same time. But if you are a simple boy, such as myself, that gets easily confused, that option can be turned off. But no matter what, you will still see two lines on the screen 
you will see those momentarily. Below the dual push to talk triggers, you will find a programmable button. And on the side and behind this magic door, you will find some holes for the optional programming cable or the worthless earpiece or other accessories. On the front, you will find all of the expected control buttons. And the radio comes in four flavors, black, lime green, gray, and yellowish. Just in case you are confuculated, the two lines that I referred to earlier are here and here, and they correspond to this and that. And they call this the UV5R Mini for a reason. I know you probably can't really tell how small this new radio actually is next to my perfectly sized and perfectly manicured hands. But when I place something next to it for scale, you will then realize exactly how tiny this radio actually is. It is even more diminutive than the TDH3, which up until now has held the world record for the most dinky handheld HT walkie-talkie radio. Now allow me to be clear, and right off the bat, for those of you with large, manly sausage fingers, this radio probably will not work out very well. But for those of us with sleek sexy money counting hands this radio would be perfect especially for use during rigorous outdoor activities because of its small size and light weight there is also an entire other demographic of people that these radios would be perfect for this is a hams radios also known as an amateur radio that's why it says amateur radio right on the user manual and even though it is not locked and it can transmit on the gmrs frequencies I should be perfectly clear that this is not a GMRS radio. And this radio can also transmit on several business frequency, which is why this radio has earned the coveted status of not locked. The radio can also receive commercial FM radio and the NOAA weather channels and a bunch more frequencies, but I'm not going to read the entire list of frequencies that it can receive because I already told you I am in a hurry because this thing is starting to turtle. And for those of you concerned about me transmitting on all of those frequencies, don't you worry your pretty little overly medicated heads because I have a license. So you can just sit back down and shut up. And for everyone wondering if this is a super heterodyne type radio, no, don't be stupid. You will never find a super heterodyne type radio for this cheap. This is an SOC or system on a chip type radio, also known as a non super heterodyne type radio. The radio can store 999 custom channels. It has the wireless frequency copy feature that many new radios have these days. This means that it will tell you what frequency and tones any nearby radios are using. And by nearby, I mean up to about 20 or 30 yards or so. The color screen is not customizable, but it does do fairly well in bright direct sunlight. It's not the best but not bad for a $20 or $30 radio. And just like the original Bufwang UV5R, this radio has no IP rating, so it is not safe to play with next to a swimming pool. And yes, although this radio is small in stature, it does have a Roger beep. This radio is not on the Chirp compatibility list, but you can program the radio wirelessly from your phone. Just dig the user manual back out of the trash and install the app from the scan code shown in the user manual. And to program the radio using the phone app, the app does ask for you to create an account. And I think I speak for many people when I say... Fuck you, Boofwang. Thankfully, using the app is not required and you can do pretty much everything the way real men do it directly on the keypad. You can also download the free programming software from the Boofwang website and program it that way if you're not man enough to do it the manly way on the keypad. The user manual says that this radio outputs 5 watts and most people expect every drop of that promised 5 watts when they pay $22 for a hams radios. Although the Amazon description for the mono pack says that it outputs only three and a half watts. So let's see which one is telling the truth. At 146.520 my gigahertz, we are getting 2.1 watts. At 446.550 my gigahertz, we are getting just over five watts. And at 462.575 my gigahertz, we are getting 4.9 watts, just under 5 watts. And using this radio and the big antenna that comes with the dual pack, I was able to talk to my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away, loud and clear. But whilst using the smaller and much more girthy antenna, we could barely hear each other. It was still reaching him 13 miles away, 
but just barely. So the Nagoya NA771 dual band antenna that comes with it apparently does work much better than the girthy antenna. So if you are looking for a very small and very lightweight unlocked hams radio to enhance your active radio lifestyle, or if you just want a radio that you can stand around and look pretty while you use, then the new Boofwang UV5R Mini might just be the tiny radio for you. <laughs>